Now, after this, these things are done, now we are about to create the Flask, right? The Flask API, right? I'm sure by now you know uh, how to create Flask API and how to go about this um, this part because we've been dealing with Flask. I mean, in the previous um, tutorials. Okay, so I'm sure by now you know how to do it, right? Initializing the Flask and then creating the route and I um, mean those things, right? Inside that, um, I mean the first one, which is the home, right? What we have is putting the suggestion, which is the get suggestion that we created up here, right? This get suggestion that we created up here. That's what uh, we are going to. I mean, that's what we are going to put over there. Okay. And then um, the similarity, right? We're also going to create this function called similarity, which is going to take care of um, this part, right? The similarity is going to take care of the similarity part. Uh, there's similar movies, right? So basically, it's going to take care of that um, part for us. All right. So you can see that the name of the movie, right? That is in the form you're going to give. That is this form, right? Um, in this form. In this form, you're going to give the name of the movie over there, right? So, so once one and once you give the name of the movie, then it's going to use this RCMD, which is the recommend function that we created above here, right? This one, right? it's going to use that one to recommend the movie, right? It's going to use that one to search for that particular movie that um, you have given, right? It's going to look for that particular movie that um, you have given and then give you that uh, recommendation. Okay, then finally, in order to display those recommended values, we're going to use um, JavaScript over here, Ajaz, right? Which is uh, asynchronous JavaScript. I'm not, I mean, expecting you to know much of uh, JavaScript or to be, I mean, good in software engineering because ideally, when you go to your workplace, you're not the one going to create these softwares, right? There are software engineers who take care of um, developing these um, softwares, right? So if you need to do any JavaScript or HTML or CSS stuff over there, you're not the one going to do it. Your job is to know how to get the data, prepare the data, build it a model, which is, I mean, which is good, uh, optimize your model. Right? That's what you need to know. And then know where you're going to deploy the model and what your model is supposed to do. That's what you ideally you need to know. Right. In the workplace, you're not the one going to develop the software to, I mean, um, the front end and the back end. You're not the one going to do that, right? There will be software engineers who will be doing all those kind of work. Your job is to know how to work with the data, how to, I mean, come up with the model that they can integrate. Okay. So um, over here, we are using this as, I mean, JavaScript, right, to get whatever um, information that we need. So we're going to get the title, the cast ID, the cast, the cast name, their birthday, the bios, the places, the profiles, and all those kind of things. We are getting this one from the IMDB, right? Uh, the IMDB um, database, right? That's what the JavaScript, I mean, this adjust is going to fetch for us. All right. So once um, this part is done, then we come to this part. So for every for every um, string that needs to be converted to a list, we're going to use the convert list function to do that, right? So if, for instance, the the movies, the posters, the names, or the profiles needs to, or the birthdays, the bios, the places needs to be converted um, to a list, then this part is going to take care of that. Right? Otherwise, it's just I'm going to be there. But if it needs to be done, then this part is going to take care of that. Otherwise, you're going to get an error over there. Okay. And this one is also doing something similar to the one that I showed you earlier on, like this one, right? This convert to list um, thing. Right, it's, it's, it's doing something um, similar to that, right? But this one is going to um, use the cast IDs, right? It's going to work on the cast IDs, okay? It's going to work on the cast IDs. So um, it's going to take care of every, if you see any, um, this open bracket, it's going to remove that and then put nothing there. If you see closing bracket sign over there, it's going to remove that and then put nothing over there, right? So that uh, here we are, when we are doing the, um, when when you click on say um when you click on this one right this is the cast right they will be having the IDs right but the ID will be in code I mean in bracket right open bracket and close bracket we just want to get rid of that right and we're going to split each cast right based on the comma in between them so it could be maybe any name right I, I'm not sure the names of let me just so I'm just giving you an example over here so maybe uh, one name could be something like this let me actually do this. Right, one name, let me see, um, maybe this guy's name, let me copy it and put it there, right? Someone's name will be like this, and then comma will be there, another person's name will come, let me 
close this one let me go to this guy let me copy the name and then put it over there another name will come right let me close that okay then um let me see maybe i can just copy this name over here and then uh, i can put it over there okay now um you see that they are separated with comma right so i will get rid of the comma right i'll get rid of the comma and then i'll get rid of this open brackets and then close bracket as well okay so that's that's um something that i wanted to show you right so we get rid of all that right we get rid of all that okay now uh once that is done um let me close this one now, once that is done then we need to make sure that whatever we are doing python understands right so we're going to render the string to python string okay whatever string that is there that's the cast bio we need to make sure that um python actually understands it right so this is the bio of this this person right so we need to make sure that um python actually understands it right if you see the the these ones right they are in python strings that's why python is able to render it carefully if, i mean good for us right so that, that's that's this what this part is um taking care of right okay now um this part i'm going to do some web scripting as well right i'm going to do some uh web scripting over here as well now if you have gone through the web scripting um tutorial i'm sure by now you understand what i um, mean how to do this web scripting you are familiar with these um beautiful soup and I mean, um, this concept find all and all this request you are able, you understand all those stuff, right? We are just um, scripting the reviews because we will not have the reviews. We need to do them um, live, right? So these reviews that you see over here, we scrap them live, right? In order to be able to make the predictions on them and see whether they are good reviews or bad reviews. Okay, so that's that's what we are doing over here. We are getting that from the IMDB database. Okay, we are getting that from the IMDB database, and then we are going to store every review in a variable called soup underscore result. Okay, when we get everything, we store it in soup underscore result. So that's what this part of the code is actually um, going to do. Okay, okay. Now once once um that is done, once we've gotten the reviews, I'm going to create this uh, empty list, which is reviews list, right? It's going to contain the reviews and then the status of the review, right? So if you come here, we have the reviews and then the status, right? Whether it's good or it's bad, right? We have the reviews and then the status. So that's that's what I'm going to do. That's what these lists are going to contain. So for every review in this um soup underscore result that we got, right? For every review in that, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get them one by one and then add them to this reviews list. I'm going to append them in, I'm going to append all the reviews in the reviews list. Okay. Once that is done, I just uh, convert everything to a, a NumPy array and then use this vectorizer. Remember that we, we, I mean, we downloaded this transform.pkl, which is nothing but um this, if you come here, right, it was, it was containing this vectorizer right this vectorizer that we did which was the last data preparation that we did uh that's going to help us remove all those stop wires and um things like that yes yeah, reconnect and then we did um pico.dump vectorizer and then we we we, we got this transform.pkl okay so that's what we are using over here right to work on this um data I mean, this review that we get, because this is just going to be test. We need to um, remove all those um, stop wires and then be able to transform it using this vectorizer in order to um, do the prediction, right? Whether they're good or bad. So once I, I use the vectorizer to transform it, then I can now make the prediction on that. Okay. When I vectorize it, I'm storing it in a variable called movie underscore vector. Then I'm going to make predictions on that movie underscore vector. Okay, and then um, I'll check the status, whether it is good or bad. So if it is good or it is bad, I'm going to append it or going to add it into the reviews status. Okay, so that's why I'm going to get the, I mean, the status like this. Okay, but when I do that, um, I want to put them in a dictionary, in a dictionary form. So it's going to contain the reviews list and then the status, right? Reviews list and then the status. So that's why it is organized, I mean, nicely here, like the review and then the status review, the status review and the status. So I don't want to maybe pick a bad review, right? A bad review and then the status will be good, right? I wanted to match it with the respective um, status, right? I want it to be organized correctly for us. So that's why you see it like that. That's why I'm creating the dictionary over here. And then finally, we have our, I mean, normal um, Flask um, rendering over here. So return render underscore template. 
and then recommend.html, right? This recommend.html, you'll find it in the template um, folder, right? We have home.html, then we have recommend.html, okay? The home. If you if you come here, let me refresh this. This interface that you see, this is the home.html, right? This is this part, the first one, home.html. Now, if you search for a movie, right, like the one that we're searching, right, any, or maybe let me search for any other movie at all, right? Maybe, um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, Spider Man, something like that, right? If I search for the Spider Man, if I search it over here, now it's going to use this um, recommend.html, right? It's now going to move from home.html to recommend.html. Now I see that we have this interface that now you see is the recommend.html, right? Recommend.html is what now you see over here. Okay. Now that is the, the that is I mean this part, right? Now you can see that is uh we are going to get the title, the poster, the review, the average, I mean the vote average. I mean, the vote count, the release dates, the runtime, the status, the genres, movie cars, movie reviews, and all those things, right? If you click, if you see here, we have the title, the overview, the rating, general, the review count are here, right? The review count are here, the genre, the release date, the runtime, the status. So that's, that's the things that we are putting over here. And then finally, we, I mean, close our main, I mean, we close our flask main that we uh, initially opened over here. Okay, so that is um, that is the things that you need to put in the main.py. Okay, these are the things that you need to understand what is inside there. All right, so you can, I mean, customize it the way you want, right? For instance, customizing the message that you want and I mean, things like that. All right, now um, I'm going to also show you, remember that I, I we were having main.py and then um, template and then static, right? And then also um, requirement.txt. So these are the things that I need to show you what is inside, right? So um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you what is inside the static and then the template, all right? I'm going to maybe have an overview of that, right? Um, I know we have done a lot of, um, I mean, the previous videos, we saw how to create these folders, the static and then the template. But let me show you what uh, we have in this particular one, okay? And some of the things that you can customize all right, so I'm um, seeing the next tutorial.